This is Doug Clifford, who plays drums for Creedence Clearwater, who's been there since the start, which was how long ago? Uh, Eleven years. Did you, when you first started, know what you were doing? Not at all, and I still don't. I'm working no. on it, though. I'm working on it hard. No, as a group, though, <laughs> did you ever have an idea of what kind of music you play? Just rock and roll. Stu Cook here plays bass. Stu, have you ever run into a situation where you didn't like one another or you had a very, very bad argument? Yeah, we checked our equipment quite frequently. <laughs> How did you hold together? Uh, it's hard to say. Like, I don't. It just happened. Like, uh, it just as much as we hated each other, it all came back. Like we liked each other more than anybody else. I don't believe a word of it. How many years has it been? Uh, almost 11, I guess. Let me switch down to the end here. Tom Fogarty. Tom, uh, how would you characterize this music? Characterize? Hmm. Rock and roll music, it's, it's the only uh, logical or, you know, explanation. It's just, there's all those terms that people have invented, but it's really just rock and roll music. Does it as come it as a contribution of all the members of the group? Oh, absolutely, always, yes. John Fogarty, you write most of the material for the group. Why on earth did you select as the first recording a thing called Suzy Q, which you didn't write? It's probably the song we've been playing the longest, so we figured... You know, if we, if we had it down for 10 years, maybe we'd make a record of it now. <laughs> what was the first gold record you had? Proud Mary. Let me hold it up here because I want people to see it. This doesn't happen very often. What were your feelings when you got this gold record? Well, after waiting a long time, I, wow, it's hard to describe. It's just elation, you know, and sort of a personal triumph, too. You know, you, we went after that, I suppose, 10, 11 years ago, and finally getting one was kind of a great reward. All right, when it comes in terms of, uh, of an album, what did you feel when you got your first gold album? Well, that was sort of icing on the cake, because the single was sort of the main, the main part. You know, I thought the album would be a whole lot of singles. I didn't think of it as an album getting a gold record. I don't know, it was, uh, it was the second thing that came along. It wasn't quite the same as a single. You know? Let me... This is a beauty. John, let me present you with a gold album is kind of nice, which, by the way, looks like this in person. Did this, by any chance, frighten you when you had to do a follow-up? Yeah, quite a bit, but you just got to keep going on, doing what you do, try and do it the best you can. You know, we were talking the other day about uh, the future and things that would happen way, way off. What is to happen to Creedence Clearwater in 1970, 1971, 72? Well, I guess basically we'll try and go into every kind of music that we've been playing over the last 10 years, try and get it down on record, get it on tape. And, uh, you know, some original stuff, too. But in the basic areas we, we've been working on for the last 10 years, you know, we've played every kind of music there is, I suppose. So we'll try and make records that way. Do you all contribute to what happened? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, like, we bounce off each other, you know, whatever we want. We wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to salute you today on American Bandstand. We'll be back right after this word.